In the previous video, we learned about Arrhenius' concept of acids and bases. And before I forget it this time, uh, I wanted to tell you that for each of these uh, videos, I'm planning to have like a small uh, post regarding the information each of these theories provides. Uh, so do check it out in the community tab and do let me know if you want me to do that for the next I mean, whichever videos I upload from now onwards. So in this video, okay, in Arrhenius theory, according to the Arrhenius theory, uh, it said that uh, acids are H plus donors, whereas bases are OH minus donors. It just said that. And the issue was that we considered uh, there were certain bases which do not give us OH minus ion, but in reality are a base. So the Arrhenius theory was not able to explain basicity of all the compounds. Another thing was that uh, the Arrhenius theory was confined to the solvent being water. In this video, we are going to be talking about bronsted lowry theory of acids and bases. So this particular theory was given by two people, two people Danish, Danish chemist Johannes Bronsted and an English chemist Thomas M. Lowry. So according to this particular theory, acid is a H plus donor. Okay, acid is a H plus donor or can also be said that acid is a proton donor. All right, and a base is a H plus acceptor. Or a proton acceptor. So acid donates protons, whereas base accepts protons. Okay, that's the main thing that they said. Okay, so it's I mean in with respect to acid, it's somewhat similar to Arrhenius theory, but for the base, it's a H plus acceptor. So let's consider a chemical reaction between an acid HCl. That is an aqueous, which means it's in water, plus NH3, which is also in water, gives rise to NH4 plus, plus Cl minus. Okay, so what has happened here? HCl gave away a proton gave away H which is so HCl gave away H plus plus Cl minus so it gave away this H plus right and the NH3 accepted the proton and led to the formation of NH4 plus so HCl is donating a proton which makes it an acid okay so it lost a pro proton or donated a proton. It's a, it's an acid. Whereas a base accepts a proton. So HCl formed this, donated, and gave us this. Whereas base accepted a proton to give us NH4 plus. Okay. So basically, according to all of this, it seems like acid-base reactions are just a proton transfer reactions. There is a transfer of proton taking place. Let us consider two other reactions. Uh, this will be reaction of ammonia with water and the reaction of uh, hydrochloric acid with water. So HCl aqueous reacts with H2O. We won't write aqueous, we write liquid because it's in liquid state. To give us H3O plus plus aqueous, sorry, plus Cl minus. Also aqueous. Okay, this is the first reaction. The second reaction we are going to be considering is H2O plus NH3. Okay gives rise to NH4 plus 
aqueous plus OH minus, which is aqueous. Okay, now in both of these reactions, what, there is one thing in common, right? That is the water. Right, now let us look at the first one. Here, we know that HCl likes to act as an acid. Okay, so it acts as an acid, donates the proton, H2O acts as a base and accepts the proton. So water over here is acting as a base and it accepts the proton to form H3O+. On the other hand, in this case, what's happening over here? Hydrogen, I mean, water kicks out one of the protons and leads to the formation of OH-, which means in this reaction, water is acting as an acid. Okay, and it reacts with a base. So base, in essence, what's happening over here is water is one of the substances which acts as an acid in the presence of a base and it acts as a base in the presence of an acid. So it can act as both base as well as acid based on what it is reacting with. There are other examples of such substances like HCO3 minus, minus and HSO4 minus. So they can act as both proton donors as well as proton acceptors. So they are acting as both acids as well as bases. So <clears throat> in this reaction, so we have both of these reactions. I will be talking about these a little bit more. Um, I'm going to rewrite this because I want to space it out better. Um, so we know, okay. Anyways, I'll be rewriting those. That's fine. All right. So NH3, which is uh, is in water, reacts with water, which is in liquid, to give us to give us NH4 plus aqueous plus. OH minus, also aqueous. So we've discussed in the in the previous part where ammonia is going to be our base, okay, and water is the acid, right? We know the ammonia is the base, water is the acid. So notice over here, um, ammonia is accepting. H plus or it's accepting a proton. The water on the other hand is donating a proton. Okay, what's happening? Ammonia is accepting a proton. Water is donating a proton. Okay, so basically in this reaction NH3 and so NH3 is called as a Lowry Bronsted base. So NH3 is the Lowry Bronsted base. Okay, H2O is the Lowry Bronsted acid. All right, so NH3, Lowry Bronsted base, H2O is the Lowry Bronsted acid. Now, our whatever products are formed, okay. So, the products formed are OH- and NH4+. Okay, now, what will do, what will the OH- tend to do? It will again want to try and form the acid, right. It will go back, what will do, <laughs> sorry. It will go back to forming H2O and it does so by accepting a proton, Notice, so an acid is giving us something, is giving us a product that likes to accept a proton. Okay, so an OH, the OH minus formed from the water is considered to be the conjugate base of the acid. So, first of all, it's formed from the acid, hence of the acid. 
And it's a base because it tends to accept a proton to lead to the formation of water. Right. Next, you have another one that is NH4+. Plus. I'm pretty sure you've guessed what it is. It's the conjugate. So what does it like to do? It likes to donate the proton. And proton donors are acids. So it's a conjugate acid of the base. I hope that made sense. So these sets, so the acid, so there's something called as an acid base pair. An acid base pair varies by just one proton. So in this reaction, H2O and OH- are an acid base pair. And NH3 and NH4 plus are an acid base pair. Oh, you can't even probably see it. Okay, these two are an acid base pair. So, what have we learned till now? Just to, let's talk about this reaction once more. Okay, here in this chemical reaction, ammonia is reacting with water to give us NH4 plus plus OH minus. So, ammonia is accepting a proton to form NH4 plus. So, it's a base. Water, on the other hand, is donating a proton to give us OH minus. So it's an acid. So our ammonia, the ammonia is called as the Lowry Bronsted base, and the water over here is called the Lowry Bronsted acid. Okay, now the products that they give. Okay, let's just consider just NH4 plus and OH minus. NH4 plus does not like the extra proton, so it gives it away. So it's a proton donor. So it acts as an acid. OH minus, on the other hand, likes to accept a proton. It wants to get back to water. So it acts as a proton acceptor. So OH minus is a conjugate base of the acid. So here it's called a base because it has a tendency to accept a proton and it has been formed from the acid. So it's called the conjugate base of the acid. Ammonia, the, sorry, NH4 plus is the conjugate acid of the base because conjugate acid as in it, it can donate the proton and of the base means that it's formed from the base and these pairs which vary only by a proton are called an acid base pair now we will be doing another chemical reaction another reaction uh, sorry another uh, yeah we are going to be talking about the reaction between hydrochloric acid and water so i'm just gonna draw a line here okay perfect so hcl plus H2O gives rise to H3O plus plus Cl minus. Okay. So, HCl and water are reacting to give us H3O plus and Cl minus. Okay. Now, in this reaction, we know or I'm pretty, if you want, you can pause and you can try and identify which of these, um, which, which is the Lowry Bronsted acid, which is the Lowry Bronsted base, which is the conjugate base and conjugate acid of this particular reaction. You can pause the video right here. And so, so HCl over here, what is it doing? It is donating a proton. So it's a proton donor. It's donating a proton. Water on the other hand is accepting a proton. Water is accepting a proton. HCl is donating a proton. So let's write down the whole list over here the same way. So HCl, what is HCl going to be? What is H2O going to be? What is H3O plus? What is Cl minus? So HCl is donating a proton. So it's a Lowry Bronsted acid. Okay, water is acting as a 
flowery bronze tail base right so this is this hcl is acting as a lowry bronsted acid water is the lowry bronsted base perfect now let's look at h3o plus what does h3o plus want to do it wants to donate right so h3o plus is the conjugate acid of the base which is water base over here is water h3o plus is the conjugate acid Cl minus is the conjugate base of the acid, and the acid is HCl. So basically, our um, uh, an acid gives rise to a conjugate base, and a base is giving rise to a conjugate acid, and these two are going to be an acid-base pair. These two are also going to be an acid-base pair because they vary with respect to just one proton. Okay, so and also uh, this I will of course discuss again later. But if you notice, our HCl is a very good proton donor. Okay, so what will happen is equilibrium will be in the forward direction just because HCl has a very good tendency of donating a proton. Ammonia, on the other hand, has a very good tendency of accepting a proton. So the equilibrium will be in the forward direction. We will be discussing this again in detail in the next couple of videos. So bronsted lowry theory of acids and bases. Acids are considered as proton donors. Bases are considered as the proton acceptors. So there are certain substances which can act as both acids and bases like water uh, based on what they are reacting with. So in the presence of a base, act, uh, as, uh, sorry, water acted as an acid and in the presence of an acid, water acts as the base. So we learned certain terms called as lowry bronsted base and lowry bronsted acid. So lowry bronsted base is a proton acceptor and a lowry bronsted acid is a proton donor. So there and we also learned about a conjugate base and a conjugate acid. Conjugate base is formed from an acid and it basically and the conjugate acid is formed from the base. I hope all of that made sense and we talked about two reactions ammonia reacting with water as well as hcl reacting it with water and which of them are the conjugate acid and base um with that we're done with the bronsted lowry theory of acids and bases in the next video we will be talking actually we will be discussing the in text the example problems given in your textbook and then we'll be learning about lewis concept lewis concept or uh, sorry lewis's concept of acids and bases not just that, uh, do check out the community post that I will be attaching with this, for this video rather. And do let me know if there's something specific that you'd like with respect to the post.